Welcome back to another T-Smart video. My name is Roberto George and I hope you are having a great day. Now, talking about great today, we have a KVM which is targeted at gaming enthusiasts. It's capable of doing 8K at 60Hz or, more interesting, 4K at 144Hz and it can handle up to 4 computers or consoles at the same time on a single display with one keyboard, one mouse, one gamepad, whatever we connect to the KVM. So let's go and take a closer look at it. So this is a different KVM from the usual and probably that's the reason you are here. Usually we are limited up to 4K at 60 Hz on most KVMs, but right over here, no, we can do 8K at 60 Hz or 165, which is the maximum over DSC 2.1. But if you want to learn a little bit more, link will be down below with all the specifications. The usual, will be 144 at 4K or 120 at 4K, which is the most used on most modern consoles. So it will depend on the computer or the console that we are using. The beauty is that for those that want to control up to four devices, not only computers, but also next generation consoles, this will be great and will give us the freedom to have all the devices connected to one or two peripherals like game keyboard or even a game pad and we can cycle through them. So if I have a computer to work connected to this KVM and then I have my gaming station connected to the KVM, I will have everything without having the need to bypass any cable. Actually, it will support 12-bit video HDR10 Dolby Vision, NVIDIA G-Sync and AMD FreeSync. So I believe that we can connect most of the gaming consoles and computers to the KVM. And with this long intro, in terms of the unboxing experience, we will find the documentation, one remote control, four USB type A to USB type B cables, four HDMI cables, one power adapter, and of course the KVM. It's really well made as usual on T-Smart devices, all built of aluminium in black, very good build quality and it's going to last a long time even if it takes some knockouts on our desks. It has one USB Type-B input and one HDMI input for each of the four computers or consoles that we want to connect. One USB 2.0, actually two USB 2.0 for peripherals like the mouse and keyboard, one USB 3.0 so that we can connect storage for example, and then it has the HDMI output for the single display that we will connect and a power input. At the front it has one USB 3.0 that we can connect another SSD or USB thumb drive, the PC selection buttons with LED on the side and then a power on and power off button. So how do we connect the KVM? It's really really simple. So where it says input 1 or input 2 for example, it means that we will connect the computer 1 to these two right over here. So computer 1 we will just connect one HDMI cable that comes out from the computer and one USB cable cable from the computer to the KVM and basically that is it. We just need two cables for each computer. Then we just need to repeat the process on the four computers or consoles that we want to connect. Actually we can connect other devices other than computers and consoles but this is a choice that we will need to do. Now in my example I did connect three laptops and one desktop and two of them were Windows 11 laptops. One was a MacBook Pro laptop and I also used Use my Mac Studio. And I know none of them are gaming machines, but that's just simple to explain. I'm not a gamer, so I'm just sharing with you how easy it is to connect it and use it. And talking about how easy it is to use it, because connected we already did, let's go to my setup. And now with the setup example, just so that we understand how easy it is to use this KVM, which will support up to four computers, which is what I've got right over here, and one single display up to 8K at 60 Hertz. And for those that play games, 4K at 144 Hertz, which is awesome. Now, it's really easy to operate. We have these four buttons right over here. At this moment, I've got my Mac Studio connected, which is computer number four. But if I want to change to one of my other computers, actually this setup, just for the easiness, I've got three laptops right over here 
two Windows laptops, one MacBook Pro and then the Mac Studio. Now if I want to change to computer number one and probably you can see better on this angle here, just need to press the number one and there we go. It will take me to computer number one, which is the one in the bottom and with one keyboard and one mouse. Actually, at this moment, I've got my gamepad connected because I was playing uh, games on the Mac Studio, which is not a gaming machine, just to give you an example. This gamepad will cycle through because it's connected via KVM. So if I want to play a game here on Windows, I'm ready to do it. And then if I cycle to Mac Studio, I can use the same gamepad without having to disconnect anything. And I, of course, I can use the mouse and the keyboard. So we are on computer number one. We can see that by the LED indication right over here, which is on at this moment. And then if I want to go to my computer number two, just press the button number two and it will go and take me to the Windows computer number two, which is the N1 right over here. One of the computers that I use on a daily basis. I will try to leave a link down below just in case you want to check that out. Now I can work on this computer normally with the keyboard and with the mouse. I can do whatever I want. And there we go. If I want to change to my MacBook Pro, I just need to press the number three, which is my MacBook Pro right over here. And it will give me MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro and 16 gigabytes of RAM, a different wallpaper so that we can just differentiate from the Mac Studio. So now if I press number four, we will go to the Mac Studio right over here, which is my computer number four. We also have the on and off button, which at this moment I will not press. Now I'm using the gamepad connected here and I've got a keyboard and mouse at the back. But if I want, I can put a SSD or a thumb drive and it will cycle through the computer. So if I want to pass data from computer one to computer two, I don't need to connect and disconnect. I just need to have the USB pen drive or the SSD and that is it. There is other way to change between computers and that's is with the remote control that comes included and has these buttons that we can see right over here. So at this moment I'm on computer number four but if I press number one for example it will change to computer number one that we have seen which is our Windows computer. Now if I press number three it will take me to my MacBook Pro which is computer number three and we can always see right over here the LED indication. Right now if I want to go to computer number two I will go to computer number two and basically this is the way that it works. So if it happens that I'm a bit further away from the KVM instead of pressing the button I can just connect and this is usual if I want to have an Android TV box for example on my four computers one of them can be an entertainment device and if I want I have connected to a big screen I can just lay down press the computer change to number whatever I want and instead of having a computer I do have my entertainment box which I can control at a distance and like this might be easier than having to press the button but to operate the KVM is easy as we just saw right over here pressing the buttons at the front or on the remote control. And that is it, simple as this. Take it out of the box, connect four devices, computer consoles or any other device that we want, connect it to a display, plug in a mouse, a keyboard, a gamepad, whatever we want. And that is it, we will have a refresh rate up to 165 hertz at 4K, which is just awesome, especially for those that besides work also have a gaming workstation connected and at this moment no limitations in terms of resolution and refresh rate that being said hope that the video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing it so any questions feel free to comment down below or you will find also the email for tsmart so that you can ask your questions and if you need help on selecting the kvm right for you that being said, my name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.